Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello good teacher. evening. My goodness. It, it happens that I feel that it, this is like a new beginning, right? Like a new start. Too many dates and vacations actually was not right. Vacations was really, really short. Well, so welcome. Nice. So still, we have people probably joining the meeting because we are only 13. My goodness. La gente se fue de parranda. Todavía han agarrado el lunes de vacación. Estaba viendo en el grupo ahorita que hay un montón de ahí este permiso de, de estar. No sé si se van a conectar o, o qué, pero este bueno. Eh, no me aparecen los nombres. Si no tienen el nombre registrado, no puedo ver quién es. Bien. Anyway, right. So let's start. Okay. Appreciate it that you are on time. Appreciate that you are here. Welcome back to the reality. I hope that you enjoy your uh, vacation. And I hope so that you did something special, something different, something exciting. I don't know. Ronald Rafael, you look different today. You look like if you are like a new student in the class. <laughs> I, I don't, don't have, I don't know why. I don't have um, um, cabello. Here. Okay, so yes, you have a I new style. Have. You have yes. a new style today. That's why you look different. You look like, I don't know, like the new one in the class. <laughs> okay, appreciate it. My goodness, we have just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven <sighs> cameras. Seven cameras. Thank you, Mauricio. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, let's see. And the rest, no cameras today. Juan Jose, appreciate it that you have your camera. Very good. My goodness, Daniela, you look so nice in that living room. It's kind of fancy. Thank you. Fancy. Teacher. Okay. Nice. So I have some messages right here on the chat. I guess I, they are the same as. The ones on the WhatsApp, let's see. Carlos Adolfo, it's here. Uh, Genesia Alexandra, my goodness. Genesia Alexandra, my God. Okay, no problem. And it says Roxana Marisol. Nice, okay. So uh, we are about to uh, pass the attendance. <clears throat> And we will see, okay, from uh, the people that is just as a listener or people that is there, but it's kind of sick, but uh, you are there, okay, that's nice. Emmanuel Efraín, welcome, nice to see you one more time. Ileana Mariel, very nice. Okay, so welcome back. And uh, let's start, okay, let's start because uh, we are going to continue, okay? So, which material are we working on on the platform? Vamos a hacer un, un recap, right? Para acordarnos de volver a la realidad. What we are working right now. This is one, the first, second, third, or fourth week. ¿Quién sabe en qué semana del módulo estamos? Third week. Third Three, one? Third. Three, my goodness. ¿Quién da más? Three week. Third week. Actually, this is the second one. Okay. So this is still the second week. Remember that we mentioned that we are going to be like starting like a new a new week every four classes, right? every four classes and based on my notes this is section number seven okay i'm yeah this is section number seven class siete so tomorrow it's the class number eight so tomorrow will be 
uh, the deadline, the due date. Did you remember those words? Deadline, due date for the second week. So for now, I'm going to, let's see, forward the message. The same message that we have from the Inglés Corporativo, okay? So, semana dos, completar sección tres y el midterm exam, okay? So, still we are working on that. If you are done, amazing, okay? Usted ya hizo la sección tres y el midterm exam, excelente. Tuvo tiempo, tal vez en la vacación, de, de dedicar un poquito eh, eh, el trabajo de la plataforma. Así es que eso es lo que le van a revisar a usted mañana. Mañana a la medianoche es el... Fecha limit, right? The due date. So, tomorrow uh, at midnight, so we finish section number two, uh, week number two, okay? So that means that next uh, Wednesday, we are going to start the new week, okay? That will be week number three. And it will be over on Monday the 14th. So for that day, we need to complete the section number uh, four and 50% of the section number five. And uh, this coming, let's see, on Friday the 18th, the course is over, right? So that will be the last day. That means that if you can finish the platform exercise one or two days before the due date will be nice. Remember, they will be asking you for the platform in advance, okay? Ellos siempre le van a estar pidiendo a usted que trabaje la plataforma como anticipándose. No porque quieren sacarle carrera, no. Sino porque... Sorry. <clears throat> sino porque la idea es que ellos están armando el grupo para el siguiente módulo. Entonces ellos necesitan como tener la idea de quiénes son los que van a pasar al siguiente módulo para agendar el siguiente grupo, crear el siguiente grupo. Entonces, por esa razón es que ellos siempre le van a, le van a, a pedir el trabajo de plataforma antes del tiempo, ¿ok? So, pero yo creería que la mayoría logró... Eh, avanzar en la vacación. So hopefully, hopefully, por lo menos sección 3, 4, creería yo que ya lo tienen, ¿ok? Empiecen con lo que, donde van. No es que ya lo tienen que terminar, pero sí váyase haciendo la idea que para la semana del 14, por ahí como el día 15, 16, lo más, usted tendría que tener el completion, right, de la platform in 100% or uh, more than 80, right? More than 80. Para que así usted el día 17, 18 se conecta, pero ya libre de toda culpa, libre de todo pecado. Ya la plataforma hecha y ya usted respirando, solo esperando que le confirmen el continuar en el siguiente modo. Okay? So remember that the platform and the attendance is the uh, two scores that you need to get, right? So you need to get 80% at least um to be in the next in the next level so uh let's let's uh start with the attendance okay let me move on myself right here into the uh file for the attendance and uh, we are going to start okay so let's see um Dan daniela mercedes tell us what is uh today date Um, today date is Monday, 7th August, um, 2023. Okay, just give me one moment. Oh, 
Okay, sorry. So, uh -huh. that will be the day, right? Today it's a Monday, okay? Monday, uh, August, right? August 7th, TH, right? Remember, remember the TH at the end? Uh, 2023. So, this is the new beginning, right, for this course. So, let me move on myself right here into the document for the attendance. And like always, please... Um, let me know if you are here. Let's see, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Nice. Briseida Janet. Present. Nice. Carlos Adolfo. It's in the chat. Uh, Claudia Yesenia. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Daniela Mercedes. I'm here, teacher. Nice, Daniela. Emmanuel Efraín. Emanuel, por ahí lo vi. Eh, Evelyn Janet. Present. Nice. Eh, good evening, present. Yeah, good evening, Efraín. Don't worry, you have the, your attendance. Uh, Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria, no. Uh, Freddy Alberto. Freddy Alberto, no. Eh, Glenda Lisset. Glenda, no. Let's see, we have Carlos Adolfo, Roxana, and Genesi. Okay, so no, 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 no están ellos aquí. Eh, let's see, Ileana Mariel. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Janessi Alexandra. Ahí está en el chat. Eh, Jefferson Alexander. Jefferson, no. Jorge Mauricio. Present. Nice, Mauricio. José Alberto. José Alberto. No. Let's see. Then we have Jocelyn Tatiana. Present. Okay, let's see. Jocelyn Tatiana, right? Uh, let's see, Juan Jose. Let's see. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Nice. Perfect. Kevin Ariel. Kevin, no. Kevin, no sé qué pasó. Eh, Luis Miguel. I see Luis Miguel. I'm here. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, Rachel Esther. Let's see. Okay, so Rebecca Paola. No, ya no vino ya. Eh, Ronald Rafael. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Nice. Eh, Roxana Marisol. Present, teacher. Nice. Eh, Sandra Noemi. Sandra, no. Eh, Sara Verónica. Ay, no. Quiero ver. Bastante absence, my goodness. Well, so look, um, I have right here the, the score, okay? I don't know if you would like to, to see uh, or listen, right? The, the score, porque no lo puedo proyectar. Eh, quiero ver. 
Sandra Noemi, le vamos a cambiar aquí el attendance. Eh, Sandra, 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 Sandra. Nice. Um, bien. Acá, sí, acá tengo como el score que usted lleva hasta el momento de... Um, de la asistencia. No sé si quisieran saber cuánto llevan, qué porcentaje llevan. De la yes, conexión, teacher, ¿verdad? Va. Voy a ir así como rápido, porque aquí hay un montón de numeritos que aparecen, pero voy a, voy a mencionar el nombre y voy a decir el porcentaje que usted lleva de, de las conexiones. Acuérdese que aquí le van midiendo el tiempo conectado, no tanto si vino a la clase o no vino, más bien si usted permaneció en la clase la hora exacta. Eso es lo que le van midiendo. De esa forma es como se saca el, el porcentaje del 80% de la asistencia. No es venir a decir presente, sino más bien permanecer conectado en la llamada. Por eso le insisten a usted que si por algún motivo no se va a conectar, que, que porque está haciendo algo que mi modo que se conecte, aunque sea de cuerpo presente, pero que no falte, porque esos minutos que usted esté conectado son los que le van a contar. Bien, si usted no ha faltado, oiga bien, si usted no ha faltado ningún día de las siete, ocho sesiones que tenemos, usted debería de tener un 37.5 de asistencia. Ese es el porcentaje acumulado. 37.50. O sea, si usted ha estado todos los días, la hora completa, eso debería de tener. Voy a mencionar exactamente el nombre y cuál es el porcentaje que tiene cada uno. Eh, Ana Cristina, pero déjenme ver aquí. Sí, vayan. Eh, Ana Cristina tiene 37.50, es decir, que no ha faltado ningún día. Eh, then we have Briseida Janet, 30.52. Eh, Carlos Adolfo, 36.35. Bastante bien. Claudia Yesenia, 31.25. Daniela Mercedes, 37.19. Emanuel Efraín, 31.25. Evelyn Janet, 30.10. Flor de María. Flor de María dice 30.83. Freddy Alberto, 37.5. Glenda Lisa, 37.08. Iliana Mariel, 19.90. Eh, Janessi Alexandra, 37.50. Jefferson Alexander, 21.46. Jorge Mauricio, 37.5. José Alberto, nunca se conectó. Jocelyn Tatiana, 30.83. Juan José García, 32.60. Kevin, solo se ha conectado una vez, creo yo. Luis Miguel, 37.5, excelente. Rachel Esther, 21.77. Rebeca Paola, 23.54. Ronald Rafael, 31.25. Roxana Marisol, 31.25. Sandra Noemi, 37.5. Y Sara Verónica, que solo creo que un día se ha conectado. Bien, este es eh, el porcentaje. No sé si queda claro eh, el número pues, que usted lleva acumulado hasta el momento. ¿Todo bien? O sea, ahí depende de los minutos. Alguien me puede decir, mire, pero yo no he faltado. ¿Y por qué no tengo 37.5? Tengo 37 y algo, pero no tengo todo. Porque tal vez un día se conectó tarde o tal vez un día se le reinició tal vez el internet, se desconectó la llamada. Algo tuvo que haber pasado y no le, no le contaron esos minutos. Ok, so I don't know if we have a question or we good with that info. No.
Everything is fine, right? So, definitely, as I told you at the end, usted ahí puede hacer como la matemática. O sea, si llevamos eh, ocho clases, ese es el porcentaje. Cuando lleguemos a las, uh, quiero ver, ocho, que sería mañana, estamos llegando a la mitad, prácticamente es el 50. Ok, so let me uh, share the screen and uh, we are going to continue where we stop, right? The last, the last week. So remember that we, we will try to, you know, do like a small recap because of the vacation, right? Probablemente ya le olvidó usted. But anyway, right? So remember uh, that we start right here in the in the manual, right? With the section number one. And what we mentioned right here is the verb be, right? So this is something very easy, something very simple that we assume, right? We are assuming that you already know, okay? That you have clear information about the verb be. Uh, let's see, uh, Ronald Rafael, help us. Tell us a positive sentence with the verb be, with the subject a she, okay? Any sentence with the verb be, with the subject uh, she. In a positive sentence. Yeah, please, um, positive sentence, there you go. She is, mm -hmm. she is beautiful. Okay, so she's beautiful. It's okay, that's a positive one. Let's see Juan Jose. Now, negative sentence with the verb be with the subject they. They, it's the subject, but we need a negative, negative sentence. They're, they not beautiful. Okay, perfect. So the same, the same as Ronald, right? She is beautiful. She's not beautiful. Okay, so that's good. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Um, Sandra Noemi now uh, gave us a question. Okay, now we need a question using the verb be, but with the subject uh, we. Are we are we beautiful? Okay, are we beautiful? Okay, so that is that is a that is a question, right? So that is the verb be. Está ahí. Se mencionó un repaso así bien, bien rápido, right? Because we are assuming that that info it's already clear that you are a hundred percent sure about it, right? <clears throat> Sorry. Siento como que me quiere dar algo. So, let's see. Uh -huh. What else we have right here? So, we mentioned contractions, right? So, we mentioned the positive, the possessives, right? The possessive adjectives, okay? That we are going to use these ones when we are talking about something or someone that belongs to something else, okay? So, and the contractions that we are clear that this is exactly the same with the verb be. Uh, what else we mentioned? WH question. Let's see. Um, Claudia Yesenia, tell us three WH questions that you remember, okay? There are many, but just mention three. What date is today? Mm -hmm. Who is she? Where are they from? Perfect, okay, so three examples, right? With the WH, remember that we mentioned that they are called WH because normally they start with a WH, right? But there are some sections, but these ones are called also information questions because the verb be is just, are you happy? Yes, I am. It's she uh, said, yes, she is, right? So very simple, very simple questions, very simple answers. And with the WH, they are called information questions because you need to get more information, like the examples that Claudia mentioned, right? Where are you from? 
okay? So where do you live? What are you doing? Uh, what dates today? How much water do you drink? So those are examples about the WH questions, okay? So we mentioned this part about the greetings and these ones that are the yes, no questions with the B, okay? So esto nosotros lo cubrimos prácticamente desde el inicio, right? So look at the examples. Are you free? Yes, I am, not I'm not, okay? So they are very simple. They are very basic questions and the answer always will be yes or no, okay? Con una yes, no question, la respuesta siempre va a ser un sí o un no. Como que yo le diga, ¿ya comió? Sí. ¿Ya estudió? No, right? Very simple common questions and the answer will be yes or no, okay? So what else? What else do we mention, okay? So this is the other grammar point. Oh, we mentioned this part about the names, right? So we did the practice about the jobs, okay? It's on workplaces and occupations, right? So um, we mentioned this uh, part, and this is something else, right? The simple present with a WH questions, okay? So presente simple más la WH pregunta, right? So what do you do? Where do you work? So where do? So in this case, the simple present, we have two auxiliaries, right? Do and does, okay? In uh, the bird to be, we have three options. In this case, we have two auxiliaries, do and does, okay? Uh, what do you want to eat, okay? So that is a um, uh, simple present and WH question at the same, right? So uh, what else? Uh, we mentioned, let's see. the time expression. So we haven't covered this. So we stop right here, right? About the biography, we mentioned this part. So the simple questions, okay? So uh, let's see, this reading that we have right here, this writing, I'm sorry, will be like, we can assign it as a homework, right? Because, <clears throat> because of the time, okay? But we will see later, okay? A classmate is a student, she lives near the university, she studies fashion design. And she has the part-time job in a whatever, right? So this part, we are going to skip it, right? We are going to skip it. Uh, I start work at five, okay? So look at the picture. That is the name on the, on the conversation. I start work at five. The conversation is between Daniel and Helen. Okay, it says, eh, so do you actually come to the gym in the morning and says, yes, I do. Really? What time do you go uh, to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Whoa, that's late. What do you, when, I'm sorry, when do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight, it's, that is late. Uh, what do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather the weather report on uh, KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your shop. By the way, I am Daniel. Okay, so this is the conversation. I don't know if we have any question or something um that you consider that you don't get the idea no new words creo que no verdad o sea, no. todas las palabras están bastantes yeah. eh, conocidas right so they are very familiar ones okay so let's see uh we are going to try to practice okay the Conversation just one time, okay, because of the time. Uh, let's see. Um, Juan Jose, please uh, be Daniel. Um, Jocelyn Tatiana, please be Helen. Go ahead, Juan Jose and Jocelyn. Hi. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? 
Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at the life. Wow, that's light. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? Um, a TV and no reset. I do the winter report in KNTV. Do you record? Do you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Thank you. Okay, okay, nice. So let's see, uh, we have announcer. Okay, I am a TV announcer. Okay, announcer. <coughs> exactly, okay. If you say exactly, it's okay, okay? So ahí las dos pronunciaciones son válidas. Exactly or exactly. Okay, so British in America. So uh, let's see. I guess the rest of the words are good, okay? So I don't see any uh, word that can be difficult. So recognize, recognize me. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your shop. By the way, I am Daniel. Okay, so questions? No? No. Okay, so let's move on. Time expression. So this is something like the recap, right, for you because we already know the time expressions. Something that is important for you to get and do not forget is so be careful, right? Be careful with the time expressions because sometimes we just mention the time expression just because, like the prepositions, right? So las preposiciones hay que aprender cuál es la que yo voy a usar dependiendo de el contexto de mi oración. No es que, ay, yo de la que me acuerde, in, on, at, lo que sea, ¿ok? Yo lo que tengo que hacer es mencionar una preposición, no, right? So you need to mention, yeah, the preposition, but the correct one, ¿ok? So look at the ones that we have right here, time expressions. At seven, around 10, early, late, until midnight, before or afternoon. So in the morning, in the evening, at night. So on Sundays, on Saturdays, on Fridays, on weekends, okay? So these ones are the examples, okay? We are going to do an activity for you to practice the time expressions. Also, uh, something important, it's like um, use the ones that are appropriate with the tense, okay? Con el tiempo gramatical que yo estoy usando. Like in Spanish, right? So if you say something in Spanish that you are planning to do that activity or that situation in the future, so you will use future expressions, right? Así hacemos en español. O sea, usted me está diciendo algo que hizo ayer y usted los verbos empieza a conjugarlos al pasado, right? No me dice yo comí mañana, o sea, no, right? So yo comí ayer, right? So yo hice tal cosa el año pasado. So your time expressions tienen que ir acorde con el tiempo gramatical. Uh, let's see. I don't know if we are clear on that part. Let's do the exercise eight, okay? Vamos a tratar de hacerlo así en, en seco, okay? So number one, let's see. Emanuel Efraín. Hello. Try to complete the sentence with the time expressions right here. Number one. Uh, I get up sick in the morning. Um, sería, uh, in the weekend days. 
Okay, so let's see. I get up. Six in the morning. Six in the morning. Creo que este ya aquí está hecho, right? So this uh -huh. is the example. So week, week dates. Okay. So what would be in, right? Look at the, the time in expressions the information. In, right? Oh, let's see. I'm sorry. That would be on, on weekends. Okay. In on this case, it's week dates. Días de la semana. Okay. Week dates. On week dates. Let's see. The next one. That would be for um, uh, Ileana Mariel. I go to bed until midnight on weeknights. Perfect. Until and on, right? So I go to bed until midnight on weeknights. Okay. Let's see the next one. Claudia Jesenia. I start to work at 11.30 at night. Juan José, I'm sorry. I was on mute. Me escucharon. Yo hablando. So this one, number three, it's okay. Let's see number four, Juan José. I have a lunch at three in the afternoon on Friday. Okay, in on, um, right? Perfect. Nice. Let's see. The next one, Ana Cristina, please. Yo alcanzo a ver hasta la cuatro. Mm -hmm. I sleep number uh, uh, five. Four ya la dijo. Yeah, number uh, five, I'm five. sorry. I number five. I stop, I stay up at 1, 1 a.m. on weekend. On weekends, okay. So I stay at, okay, and on weekdays. Uh, let's see the next one, Jocelyn Tatiana. Number six. I have a little snack <clears throat> at night in the e evening. Perfect, okay. In the evening and at night, okay. And the last one, the last one, the last one, the last one will be for um, Sandra Noemi. Okay. I sleep at noon on Sunday. Perfect. I sleep at noon, okay? At noon on Sundays. Okay, very nice. So let's continue, okay? Because of the time, because of the time we have to move on. So we have a reading right here. What do you do? Uh, why do you need a job, okay? So why do you need a job? So we are going to probably read this part tomorrow. And uh, we are going to do something different, okay? So, because we finish, okay? This is self-assessment. Siempre que veamos self-assessment, you know what is the meaning of self-assessment? Okay, so self-assessment. Self okay, okay. That would be like an... Um, Auto, auto evaluation, right? Sales assessment. Auto evaluación, dice uno, ¿ok? Quiere decir que esta parte usted la tiene que hacer usted, porque el tiempo no nos da como para ir resolviendo todo, pero usted quiere medirse su parte de conocimiento de la sección 1 y 2, usted tiene que resolver, ¿ok? Resolver esta parte para que pueda valorar, ¿ok? So. 
let's see, we have how much is it? Okay, so how much is it? But first, let me let me create some groups. Let me stop sharing because if you see, we are in advance. Vamos iniciando la sección tres. La section number three. Okay, what we are going to do right now, we are going to do the, the writing, okay? So I'm going to take an, quizás solo voy a crear tres grupos por las personas que, que están así como un poco indispuestas. Okay, so I'm going to create just a three uh, groups. And what we are going to do, we are going to do a writing, okay? The writing, activity okay we have a biography okay so in this case uh, let's see i'm going to take a screenshot right here para que lo tengan de ejemplo right como un modelo pero usted lo va a hacer diferente deje ver a dónde está el grupito aquí está so let me see a biography it says use your notes to Sorry. Use your notes from exercise five to write a biography of your partner. Don't use your partner name on the paper. Okay, so usted no tiene que decir de quién usted está escribiendo, okay? In this case, we are not gonna do it with partners, okay? Porque nosotros no mucho nos conocemos. Okay, entonces es difícil que yo adivine eh, físicamente tal vez, pero así que yo adivine por características que usted esté dando de la persona, difícilmente yo voy a adivinar quién es de los compañeros porque casi no nos conocemos. But if you do the biography about famous people, okay, can be singers, can be actors, can be writers, can be painters, can be uh, football players, okay? So any famous people, ¿qué me va a hacer usted? Me va a escribir una biografía. Obviamente no estoy diciendo que vaya a googlear, ¿verdad? Y, 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 y copie. No, usted de lo que usted sabe, pero no va a decir quién es. En el escrito usted tiene que decir he or she, okay? He is a famous soccer player from Europe, okay? Uh, he lives in Spain, okay? Uh, he's using a, I don't know why, t-shirt from the team right now, okay? So I'm inventing, right? So usted va a empezar como hacer como la biografía, mencionar detalles de ese famous people y eh, sin decir quién, right? Just use he or she, he or she. She's uh, really famous because of her music. She is very, um, I don't know, she's very um, friendly. She looks like famous because of la, 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 la. Okay, so, ahí les mandé la, la imagen, solo que aquí habla de un compañero, pero nosotros lo vamos a hacer de un compañero. Lo vamos a hacer de una famous people, okay? So, at least, Five minimal lines and ten the most, ok? Porque no hay mucho tiempo, unas diez líneas. Le pueden tomar captura, lo mandan al grupo. O lo escriben de una vez como un mensaje de text. Ok, so are we clear with the instruction? ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yeah. Ok, so I'm going to create the group. Solamente son tres grupos. Cuando llegue al grupo tenemos cinco minutitos, ok? Decidan rápido. De quién van a escribir y empiezan a hacer la escritura sin decir quién es, right? Para que los demás hagamos el guessing. Who is that person? Okay. So uh, let me open the rooms and I will give you five minutes only.
Hello. Hola. Hello.
My goodness, welcome back. So what happened? I was in the two different groups and you were working, but you haven't sent it into the WhatsApp. No le dio el tiempo de mandarlo, pero ya lo tienen, creo yo. Los dos grupos me metí, creo que sí. So, mándelo. Yo creo que ya mandaron uno, ya lo, ahí está. So, ah, yeah, there are two. Okay, perfect. So, because of the time, I need to validate the attendance, okay? So, nada más voy a mencionar acá los que no tienen eh, asistencia, que no me respondieron o no le tomé asistencia al inicio, okay? Eh, let's see, Flor de María Sánchez. Freddy Alberto. Freddy Alberto, eh, Glenda Lisette, eh, Jefferson Alexander, José Alberto, Kevin Ariel, eh, Rachel Esther, eh, Rebeca Paola. Present. Ah, okay, Rebeca Paola. Present. Okay. And Sara Veronica. Okay, so time is over right now. Uh, we are going to continue tomorrow. We are going to read the two uh, small biographies that we have. Okay, and see. If we are able, my goodness, Daniela, why you erased it? So, ajá, lo envían ahí, con eso vamos a iniciar mañana. Ahí está Daniela otra vez. American singer and the other one, it's a famous singer as well from Puerto Rico. So, ajá, nice, time is over. Thank you for everything and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Remember that we are from Monday to Friday to this week and the next one, right? So thank you, good night, bye-bye, take care, and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone.